So, what it's... is Zormir going to come up with today? We don't know. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Good timing. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> what? Why? Because Blaylock's already gone? What the heck? What are you talking about? <laughs> you turned into a chair. Oh, no. It's <laughs> the chair. <laughs> Uh, welcome everybody. We are down. We are down in Arlo tonight. So, you know, that, uh, Arlo will be played by me. By me. Terrifying. Should be. Um, guys, if I get crackly, let me know, because I can't, I can't hear it. It's having an issue yesterday. So, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> Stay a while and listen. Stay a while. So, we welcome you to this exciting, pivotal episode 69. It's where we take a a cream for that rash that we have. (laughs) (laughs) You might need one after tonight. Oh, man. Ah, (laughs) We are glad to have you with us if you like what you see drop a sub or follow we always appreciate that um yeah yeah fanboy Uh, roll along roll along for sure um we just want to let you know and we'll let you know at the end of the show as well we are going to be taking a two-week break after tonight uh we will be off for memorial day yeah Memorial Day, we want everybody to enjoy time with their family away from electronics. um, Best you can. It's a good excuse to escape them. Yeah, I I know. know. That's where I'm going to go start playing them because of all the other crap I don't have to do. Right. Right. So uh, we hope everyone has a good Memorial Day. And then I'm actually out that next week. So we're having a two-week break. So we'll be back. Um, Didn't even look at at the calendar. But uh, after that, <laughs> I think it's like the 14th or something like that. So I would like to, um, Zormir, we've got to we've got to do at least one uh, phasmophobia stream this week. Oh yes, Let's I'll do join it. with that. Oh oh yeah yeah, uh, Gal tears with us too. And Wednesday it, night. It, it, if, no, yeah, if Wednesday... nobody knows, that's where that's where these three sit there and scream their fool head off like little girls. <laughs> Okay, it's and, so uh, great. <laughs> Little uh, kids are not funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. Any twenty four, twenty four, uh, plays too. So yeah, let's get it. We'll get a stream going this week because it, it's entertaining to see us out of our uh, storytelling. Uh, adventure and as he said, scream like little girls as little undead kids crawl across the floor and chase you in a house. Um, put your face open. So, yeah, we'll try to do that on uh, Wednesday. That sounds good. Ah, and as always, if anyone has Outriders, me and uh, Grayson would love to have you join us on that. So, if you don't mind having your head pushed in. (laughs) Just got to take your gear off and put it back on. Nothing stupid there. Um, Ridiculous. (laughs) But... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, Matt, you couldn't comment first. But again, if you're new to the stream, welcome. Uh, glad to have you. And we are going to get started in our exciting episode last week. The party delved deeper into the orc stronghold and fought their way into the room of Rash Bone Shredder. He didn't seem too concerned that they were walking into his chamber, and they found out later as he sprung a trap, and magical energy surrounded him, and he proceeded to bowling ball around the room, smacking the party around before they cornered him against a box and ended his life. And that's where we stopped last session, as Zormir... Uh, reached out a hand and pulled the soul from Rash into his hand in front of the entire party. And that's where we're going to start. 
So, let me get this. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Oh, are we ready? Is everybody okay? Yep. I'm... Mm, Zora Mare. Grayson, we can't you... hear you. You're you're speaking but muted. He's muted, yep. Hmm. Zora Mare, can you would you care to explain what just happened? Are you about to turn into a overgrown orc? What are you talking about? We just we just killed him. Mm-hmm. What was that this... like? And that why one was it going towards you? Did it? Did I not tell you I could? I could do that. What did you do? Yes. What is this that that you can do? Oh, I, I could have sworn when we were talking about. I didn't tell you. I could have sworn when we were talking about the other things. I, I, I told you. I. I can capture souls. Speak up! I can't hear you. This, this is uncommon. You can capture what? Well, when a soul or a, a creature dies near me, I can, I can take its soul and put it in a little object. Why? Well, I have my reasons, but figured we want rashes. I can, I can ask him one question if we need to ever in the future. I figured that might come in handy. Um, how long have you been able to do this? Uh, a while hmm. and you just tell us now ah it's hard to keep track of what I told you guys I thought I had told you hmm. You, I would find this significant if you can speak to the dead and instill souls into an object I, I can't necessarily speak to the dead I can, I can just ask them one question and then and their soul goes away. Last time I checked, that's speaking to the dead. Mm. It's not much of a conversation. Mm. How many souls do you have? Uh, I have I have a couple on me right now. What do you do with them? Uh they I don't know, their their energy, it it, it makes me feel a little more whole, like I just feel more confident when we're out adventuring. Like I can, mm. like I can do what I need to do better. Mm. Interesting. And what is it that you do that requires a soul that needs to do better? Have you seen what I do? I barely known you and I've seen you spit acid and steal souls. None of that seems normal. Seems pretty normal when we're in circumstances like this to me. Arlo, there is nothing normal about Zoramir. This poor little halfling has came back from the dead more times than I care to count. And you um, all are okay with this? It's just the halfling luck. I have known halflings, but none that did that. Mm. Sounds like you came back or more than just yourself when you came back from the dead. I, Zoramir, I would like to know what is going on, but now is not the time. Will this affect our endeavor in the middle of an orc stronghold? Oh, no. No way. Not at all. There's no no chance. If anything, it will only help us. Grayson, Gautier, Arlo, are we okay with carrying on this conversation later? I think this can be a good campfire conversation. Just not right now in the middle of this stronghold. Yes. Yes, we are kind of surrounded by the dead. Hmm. I would say it would be good for us not to forget to have this conversation. Mm. Oh, don't you worry, I'll remind you. Mm. Mm. 
Please. Would somebody be kind enough to let me know what's going on? I, I'd like to go over to where the magistrate is at. Apparently. At we're, okay. Because he so pointed high. as to what where the magistrate was sitting on a spit. Mm-hmm. Let's move you. And the MC no spit. Okay. Can I discern anything other than meat? It just looks like a hunk of meat. <laughs> I hope he was lying. Hmm. If there gonna... is one question to ask, then we should do it now. Zoramir. Can you well, inquire about the shard? We only get one shot at this. Well, if you have a better question. Perhaps we should look at in the chests first. Let's clear the room before we ask. I want to investigate the big work that we murdered. Hey, yo. Okay. <clears throat> Right. So you walk over and start rifling through his belongings. Um, he has nothing of note except for two keys. No identifying marks on either. Outside of one key has a very familiar OVK scribed into it. And the other one has an upside down OVK scribed into it. Does mm. anyone see any locked, possibly locked items around here? I got some keys over here. I'm going to look at him and just deadpan point at the chest. Maybe that? What about the room that was locked earlier? There is also the case of the fire elemental. I'm going to start walking over towards the chest near Blaylock. All right. Is that a chest? Um, To the right? Or so, okay. There's one to the right, too. I am assuming that is a chest. Is that a chest? That is a chest, yes. Okay. <laughs> There's one on the west side of the room and one on the east side of the room. I'll go on the I'll, east side one. I'm going to actually go up to the goblins and then see if there's anything discernible from them or anything I can find off of them. Okay, what goblin would you like to go to first uh, north northwest okay so that's gonna take you some time there as you climb on top me. of the boxes and kind of go over mm -hmm. there um uh, grayson what are you gonna do you see people move to the north side of the room somebody can to explain to me what's going on i seem to have lost my hearing Mm. There's uh -oh. a... <laughs> Arlo turns to you. What do you what? mean you lost your hearing? Speaking louder isn't changing the fact that I can't hear you. Mm. I... I'll stop what I'm doing then and go over to Grayson. Okay. Takes you a bit to get over there while you're climbing back down off the boxes. <laughs> yeah, uh, back off the boxes. Yeah. Zoramir, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to lean over and inspect the chest. Okay, give the, me the... a uh, investigation. Uh, 20, not natural. Okay. It does seem like it's trapped. Does it seem like I can disable the trap? You can certainly try. But do I feel like I can disable the strap? <laughs> As Zoramir, the halfling rogue, the most debonair of rogues that exist, you feel confident that there's not much you can't disarm or unlock in your life through the power of your tiny fingers. Yeah, the soul-stealing, acid-spitting uh, rogue <laughs> from across the street. 
Oh gosh, well when you put it like that. <laughs> I am going to take this great ball of confidence that Zoramir is and attempt to disable disarm this trap. Okay. The mimic. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared, Bobby. Zormer just vanishes. Why is he not saying anything? I need you to roll it up. Oh, what do you want me to roll? To to disarm. What do I roll for that? Oh, come on. <laughs> Dex plus your proficiency. Oh, okay. I feel like... B. B. Uh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> Twelve. Okay. <laughs> tink, tink, Z- Zormir tink. leans forward and sticks the lockpicks into the uh, chest and carefully eyes each part and meticulously turns and you hear springs tensing up as you twist the tools gently. Can I use a healing kit? <laughs> before... <laughs> You take Hold on, it takes a moment for the dice to roll. No, you especially, better be joking. Especially especially that much dice that many dice. You take be joking. forty seven points of fire damage. And Can I uncanny dodge this? It's not an attack, it's a trap. But I think we've had this we've conversation. Had this I know, yeah. but it's like, I feel like I could dodge it. No, the traps face. are sudden. They're like, you know. Okay. Okay, are you still up, by the way? Yep. Okay. So yes. it blows you uh, 10 feet back onto the ground, um, and you are prone. And... Blaylock, uh, Arlo, and Grayson, and you, of course, all hear this, and the chest just explodes. And as as it explodes, you hear a rain of coins clinking against the the ground, um, and Blaylock, right by <laughs> your feet, you hear dong, 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 dong. And a familiar counterweight slides across the floor to your feet. As this rain of money. So I don't need to hear to know that Zoramir fucked up again. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, why can't I pick locks? Do I see the counterweight? Uh, right now your back is to it as Blaylock's behind you. I'm gonna look at the ex- look at the explosion. Look at my chest. Go. I ain't messing with that. And just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you walk away, Blaylock. What are you doing to Grayson? Uh, I'd like to do a medicine check. Okay. And I'm looking for any kind of like you know. Any anything discernible to for, to show that uh, to represent the, the the damage he says he's he's encountering with his ears. Then so, give me like, an arcana. The give me an arcana check. Then. Ooh, I like, me likey the arcana check. Do you have an advantage on arcana? I no. am. I am a. I am a caster of casters. I am arcana. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> Uh, that would be a 25. Nice. All right. Looking over, um, Grayson, you see, um, like, a small magical field around his ears. Hmm. Hmm. I can... I can assist with this. And I'll, I'm going to cast Dispel Magic on him. 
Okay. Um, you reach forward and kind of grab a hold of his head, like cupping in both ears. Mm -hmm. uh, Grayson, you're kind of irritated at what he's doing, uh, grabbing your head like that, and a pulse of magic, poof, and suddenly you can hear um, the trickle of dust and sand still falling from the, <laughs> the debris. Can you hear me now? Can I? I can. You can. You can. Yes. This is permanently deaf. <laughs> oh my goodness! Here, I thought we were finally just being silent. And... No. No, much has transpired. If you'll uh, look behind me, you will see a Zoramir who is slightly charred. I must go attend to him. Playing with chests again, are we? Can Can you walk? Damage to the ears can cause some adverse effects to your ability. I can walk and walk. I can fight. I've not been able to hear since we left the hallway. Hmm. That had to, Arlo looks at you. That had to be pleasant. <laughs> what time, yes. I'm going to attend to Zoramir. Hmm. I look down and at the mess. It's... It's everywhere. <laughs> I assume I see him. <laughs> He's the laying piece. on the ground. Um, you know, burnt spots uh, of his cloak. His face is just completely uh, blackened with Zorbeer. soot. Okay. Um, <laughs> but you do see, now that Blaylock has moved away, there is a, a shiny piece uh, of counterweight of a sword lying on the ground. I pick that up. Okay. And examine it. It looks very nice. It looks like it would fit together with other pieces that you currently have. What piece is it? The counterweight. Just the counterweight? Yep. You have fancy names for all the other ones. <laughs> Not really. Ye old bound grip, holder. Blade grip. Yeah. They're all pieces. Counterweight's the bottom. <laughs> Got it. Got to be there. I, um, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Two charges. So, one hand on Zoramir and just going to spend some time trying to get him get him oh. going again. Hold still. Uh, Blaylock, is that you? Yes, can you hear me? Uh, Zoramir is like on the brink of death. Hmm. <laughs> he is he is doing very poorly. Heal, you heal for 42. Um, Point. Zorber, what happened over there? We, you should really try and practice that particular craft, or give it up altogether, and we find <laughs> alternate means <laughs> to open chests. What May I suggest kicking ever. it? <laughs> Galtier, what, what are you doing care? during this? I, I'm going to go back and try using one of the keys in this trunk, or I'm going to die. One of the two. Okay. All right, Blaylock, continue. <laughs> I see Galtier going over there. I'm just like, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> PTSD. <No. laughs> Would you care to redeem yourself? Yeah, <laughs> you want to try again, Zormir? This is calling your name. Uh, I am the best luck picker. This island has ever seen. Well, you could <laughs> redeem by yourself by picking up this gold. I, my eyes grow big as I look down and see all the gold on the ground. Yes, that gold. Just keep gold your on eyes ground. on him. He has did a tendency to try to keep stuff for himself. Did we explicitly say it was gold on the ground? Uh, you, there, There is coins you can find if you want to spend some time trying to salvage what you can. I'm gonna um, get it. I, I, you know, I'm going to cast a dog on Tiny Servant and I'll do it. Don't you have a way to clean things up? Yeah. <laughs> I would like to press the digitate 
the area and be able to gather up all of the debris into one area to go through in a uh, organized fashion. Just dump it uh, all on Zoramir so he gets this uh, covered. Prestidigitation doesn't really function like that. Like oh. it can clean the floor, but uh-huh. not gather things up. Yes, but in the process of oh, so I can't like move stuff around. No, it's it's not like that. It's very small magical effects that it does. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm here. You have some work to do. I'm gonna go back over to the goblin in the northwest. Okay. I'm gonna walk around, um, hunched over, plopping coins into my bag. Okay, so you're you're picking up the coins. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're gonna spend the next uh, fifteen minutes, I would say. Okay. And what you found, what you found, <laughs> was nine platinum. 188 gold pieces, 107 silver pieces, and 741 copper pieces. Oh. Grayson, what are you doing? You and Arlo are still standing there beside the corpse, kind of away from everybody. <laughs> As you see Zoramir kind of walking around. Ooh, little coin. Ooh, little coin. It's a candy. <laughs> I'm going to use. No, no, not doing that. Um, I'm gonna walk over to where. Um. I mean, you know what? I'm just gonna lean on the wall behind me. Okay. And watch Zormir be. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, a rich idiot. Ar- Arlo's going to uh, just kind of stand there beside you and he looks over at you. I don't know how you've stayed this long. Uh, I don't either. Maybe I'm just waiting for the little one to die. <laughs> it is an adventure all in itself. Just Do- watching him survive. Hmm. Do I hear this? Uh, you're kind of really focused on uh, give me okay. a perception with disadvantage uh, I have a passive percept <laughs> yeah uh, well it just so happens the lowest I can roll on that is 19 I don't oh, yeah. care if you hear me Zormir you're a shit <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and just chuck a gold at him a <laughs> gold okay. coin just Ding ding! You snatch it up. Does it even make it to him, or to fall short? <laughs> <laughs> it makes Just it make there. Make sure you're keeping track so everybody gets their fish. Yeah. I'm gonna point at all of the wounds on me. I, I get it's us. We all this took loot. <laughs> Just because you're too stupid to disarm a trap. I'd like to see you try. I'll buy you a nice. Steak and nail and down. Wizard town. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to uh, disarm traps. That's what you're for. Maybe. Obviously not good at it. Hmm. Oh, well, there's nobody better than me, so if I couldn't have gotten that, well, nobody, I'm, I'm nobody sure could have gotten some that. some homeless person in Portstown that can do a better job. Are you sure you could make it with a homeless person without accidentally killing them? I've made it this far with not accidentally killing you. Fair point. We didn't have company. I don't know how that would have gone. Yes, I do. I take a swig. <laughs> Galt here. Then. Keep our, collecting our, our gold. Blaylock, you, you are searching through the now debris as that corner has went through some stuff. Uh, And eventually you find an arm, part of a leg. I'm just going to throw it all like over my shoulder into the middle of the room. You just hear a splat. And Zormir, you have to kind of move it out of the way to pick up a a silver coin that you found underneath that. Mm -hmm. 
And that leads us to Galtier. Explosions. Bam! What would you like to do? I'm going to try using... Uh, I'm going to look for a symbol first, see if one of the keys, like the upside down OBK matches it or something. There's no identifying mark on the chest itself. I'm going to try just uh, open the lid to see if it's even locked. Okay. So you disappear into the ethereal plane. Grab a hold of the lid and you lift it up. And as you do, <laughs> explosions. I'm going to die. All of you standing in the room. Oh, you, no. <laughs> Galtier, I'm sorry. you take 50 points of fire <laughs> damage. Yep, told you I was going to die. <laughs> you see... Are, are you down? I'm down. Okay. You see... Uh, I, well, especially Grayson and Arlo, you see a, uh, a big flash of light and an explosion. Pieces of boxes and wood <laughs> and ash go flying into the air. The room again fills with dark smoke. And then, like a rag dog t- doll tossed through the air, you see Galtier's body end over end. <laughs> How did we survive down here? This, this is why I hate chests. And as that um, again with the other chest, uh, Zormir, you hear uh, well, everyone hears an explosion of coins uh, tinging across the floor and the sounds of some kind of rod dunk, 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 dunk. And it kind of the rod rolls against the wall. Uh, there must be an easier way. All right, Galtier, make a death saving throw. That's a five. That's a failure. We all see he's down, right? Oh, you. you the explosion notified you, and you, you see he's just laying there on the ground. Uh, and Grayson and Arlo definitely saw that <laughs> he was. All right, I'm gonna I'm uh, gonna fl- uh, I'm gonna flick the um, uh, uh, the the rod over to uh, cast uh, healing word, and I can do that from a distance. I'll use my last charge to. Uh, What's the distance? Um, a lot. Hold on a second. Well, while I'm hunched over picking up pieces, I hear the explosion. Glance. Feet. Okay, you're good. But- Glance over, and then just look at Blaylock. Keep picking up things, Blaylock. Galtier could use your assistance. <laughs> You're so helpful, G- Galtier. <laughs> you you uh, you heal for twelve. Okay. You so Galtier, you feel your wounds close, and you open your eyes, and you just see smoke rolling across the top of the ceiling. Uh, ash still uh, floats in the air. And you kind of turn your head to side to side and you see a few coins laying around you. Um, your ears are ringing. Oh, shock. Uh, th- that orc, and then I'll point at the orc, can not make a trap large, uh, more complicated than you two can figure out to open. I find this very hard to believe that we nearly get ourselves killed by opening a chest. I know. At and this I'll... point, why don't we just set the whole place on fire and take a nap? Yes. Come down for that. Burn all the goblins. Anybody else I want to make chat. any noise? I'm sure if there's anybody left alive down here, they don't. They, they ain't no way here. Zormir, are you are you going to continue picking up coins and then move to where Galtier was at picking up coins? Oh yeah. Okay. Um. While this conversation is going on, you, you can, hear me? Yep, we hear you. Oh, okay. but your videos are messed up. You and uh, Grayson. Sorry. No problem. Stop fucking with shit. <laughs> <laughs> My internet even said fuck you. Yeah. Okay, you're good, Grayson. 
All right. So while you're doing all this, um, Zormir, you find 13 platinum pieces, 80 gold pieces, 1,283 silver pieces, Jeez. and 95 copper pieces. You also find... Um, Oh, I forgot. A small, interesting-looking rod uh, laying against the eastern wall. Some char char marks on it. I pick up the rod and examine it. Okay, give me one second here. It blows up in your face. (laughs) That would be... That would be so... (laughs) It's a wand of fireballs. That's what Zormir needs. (laughs) <laughs> oh no i would please, never please <laughs> i would never walk into the hall <laughs> that that was the last we heard of zoramir there it is hey king i learned a trick <laughs> so as you look at the wand it looks like several colors kind of shift uh up and down the the rod and occasionally sparkles uh just kind of pulse down of it down it um uh, <clears throat> but tap it against something like a crate oh she would <laughs> oh, okay um one second <laughs> no <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this this fast. So, oh no! Give me. <laughs> so that means it does something. <laughs> you better need to identify to item. Where we can just have Zoramir poke it. Because he's not standing by us. <laughs> just oh, uh, no! Please hold. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> you. <laughs> what else would he do? Uh, that's, that's a fair, that's a fair statement. Sorry, computers, computers working on a lot here, so it takes me a second. Oh, am I going to take a bunch of damage? Oh, man, I've never rolled D60 before. Uh, no, no, no. (laughs) Nope, I just need a second. Like I said, I was totally not prepared for that action or you're not prepared Zormir for that picking something up that he shouldn't be touching and fucking around <laughs> with it you should always be prepared for that uh all right oh the suspense is killing me oh oh boy oh no <laughs> take him to another plane take him to another plane <laughs> uh, side, side note but don't worry, it's a good two weeks before we, uh, for us to create new characters, so that's good. I have plenty of time. Okay. Uh, let me send you. you tap the box. Um, oh, God. Let me let me move you, because you would be on the uh, far side of the room. So scared, guys. Is he there by me? No, he's down there. He's... Um, oh. yeah. as, as you tap on the box... You just, you hear, and then I will send you something. Do I disappear? No, you're still standing there. Okay. The rest of us (laughs) aren't. The box glows for just a bit and then dissipates. What did the rest of you want to... Uh, Blaylock, uh, you, you've been up there for a while. You found the pieces. Do you want to move to a different corner? Yeah, I want to move down to the other one. So, do, um, Down do, uh, or big, east? Uh, down. Okay. Uh, has a rash... Is, uh, does it look like he's been searched over? Yeah. 
okay. well, I mean, Galtier went through that. Yeah, I don't know if I if I witnessed that or not because I was poking around in a goblin. Did I get his long sword? Um, he has a sword there. It's rather large. Yeah, so you drag it out <laughs> if you if you want to. That's do do you want to? Way. It's it's just a it's a oversized. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll call it a uh, claim a great sword or, or great sword. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. I do need a it's heal a, though. It's a claymore that he used as a dagger. Cause he's a monster. Okay. Grayson, are you doing anything? He's picking his teeth with it. Uh, I'm just drinking. Okay, Galtier, you said you're healing. Yeah, I rolled a twelve for a medicine check. Okay. That passes the route, right? Yep, just just does. And Zormir, what are you doing? Can you answer my question? Uh, let me see. Are we ready to get out of here? Are we going to hurt ourselves even more? The answer would be nah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, walk over <laughs> to uh, where Arlo and Grayson are standing, and okay. I'm going to hold out the wand uh, to them. And in my mind, I'm explaining to them that what it is, and it looks cool. And you guys see my mouth moving, but you don't hear anything. And then you just see my face go, the sudden realization what? of me realizing I can't talk. Oh, great. Is it just me, Arlo, or did I lose my hearing again? All these explosions. Uh, no, I believe the prayers to the gods may have finally been answered. <laughs> Thormer is looking very panicked right now, trying to scream. Like, I take trying to make some sound. Hand. You take it out of his hand? Do you fight him taking it out of your hand? No, I'm too panicked right now to care. Okay, so you snatch it out of the hand. Blaylock, you're over here searching the goblin looking for clues, and <laughs> you hear... And you hear just some kind of grinding noise as he falls down into the bucket further that where he was hiding. And with the, the end of the, the his fall, you hear... <laughs> the entire building begins to shake. Rocks begin I... falling from the ceiling. Uh... Oh. It's, it's time to go now. And I'll begin my track out. Okay. Um, we're going to roll initiative for this. All right, good. I have oh, my gosh. ring of jumping still, right? <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second. Am I still cursed? Yes. yes. Okay. Curses this, just don't go away. But this Ooh. isn't, this isn't uh, combat, so it's... Okay, Blaylock. Oh, does that only... Sorry. It's a combat thing, yeah. Okay. What was that, Blaylock? 22. Oh, same as Arlo. Zoramir. 29. Dang. Only I rolled that on the chest. Grayson. Yeah. 24. Dang, you guys. Galtier, come on. No. Four. Four. (laughs) I only have a plus two to initiate, and my rolls have been basically shit tonight. The All falling right. stone goes first. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Um, <laughs> rocks are falling. Um, I need. Ev- uh, no, Galtier, go. Or Galtier, go. No. <laughs> Just episode <I'm> run. <laughs> uh, Zoramir. Uh, I'm gonna. Go ahead. Y- it. You can't really hear much either. This this is full silence. Oh, I can't hear either. Interesting. Okay. You feel so, the ground shaking, and you see concern in everyone's face. I'm I'm looking at Blaylock and everybody trying to scream like, "What's going on?" But you don't hear anything. Uh, I see rocks falling. Yep. Uh, things that okay. you can still feel the place shaking. 
I'm like pointing at everybody and then pointing at the door like, let's get out and I'm gonna book it. All right, where do you wanna go? Uh, out into the left. All right. Dash two? Yes. Okay. You all see Zormir just run out into the hallway. Uh, Grayson, you're up. Suggest we make our, our way out of here. And I take off as well. What's your movement? With dash 80? 80 with dash. Ultira is like a full extra turn behind. Mm-hmm. Hey, Zormir, as fast as you're running, you just see Grayson just bounding in front of you. <laughs> as I run past him, I'm just grab him by his cloak and pull him <laughs> as a bonus action. <laughs> or is that an action? Do I have to take an action to do that? What Are you trying to drag him, or are you trying to just decloak him? I thought you were trying to trip, trip <laughs> drag, me at first. I'm trying to drag him. <laughs> oh, okay. That would be an action on top of that. Okay. Uh, Arlo is just going to take off as well, and he be right there. And... Blaylock. Uh, I'm going to run towards there, hold out my hand for the uh, turret to kind of grab on. Okay. And I'll just say it'll, it'll just it'll rest on my shoulder. All right. What is, what's your total movement? Uh, it's 30. With dash? Uh, I, I'm very reticent to dash right now. You're not going to dash? Okay. I am not going to dash. Okay. I, I, severe, I, I still have exhaustion. So. All right. Galtier. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to run towards the door, and I got 70. Why is it we? All, why is it we're always running from falling things? All right, I need all of you to hold on. Make a deck safe. <clears throat> uh, so the curse still doesn't apply for this. Uh, not for this. No. Actually, it's probably been enough time that uh, the curse is gone. Let me let me fix that. So, uh, one second, and I'll get those numbers. All right. Zormir. 25. 25? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a success. Grayson? 12. 12 is a failure. Arlo, I guess I should roll for Arlo. Arlo is a failure with a 12 as well. Um, Blaylock. Seven. Seven's a failure. Ooh. Galtier. 17. That is a success. You all take, the, all the you that fail, take three points of bludgeoning damage as rocks begin to fall on you. Well, hold on a second. Uh, with exhaustion, I've got I've got to do that again. There's uh, no critical fail. Oh, there's not. Okay, yeah. good. Failure's failure. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, Zormir, you're up. Looking it. Okay. Okay. Grayson. Okay, I won't dash this time. I'm just going to run up. I think it's 40 feet to where Zoramir is. I put you right at Zoramir. Pick his ass up. Okay. Oh, he cares. Make a, make a strength check. I'm four. Okay. All right, Zoramir, you are now being held in like a football hold under Grayson's arm. What's going on? Uh, Arlo is going to 
run forward. This doesn't mean I like you. <laughs> Stormer is secretly why Grayson stays around. Have a cloak. Okay. And Blaylock. Uh, I'm going to run up 30. Okay, Galtier. I'm going... Is there any way I can, like, help Blaylock move faster once I get caught up to him? Uh, you can attempt to pull him. Uh, can I... Because it's, it's, you have exhaustion, that's why you can't move fast, right? No, he's yeah. not. A, his oh. speed isn't affected. My, my speed's not affected, but if, if I push it too hard, then it gets worse. This is how this is how Grovile met his doom. Uh, can I? Um, okay, is it? It's it's too late now. But yeah, okay, Galtier, never... what what do you want to do? Um, well, I can't move anymore. Right, you can just... do your you can do your dash still. Can I take his uh, turret to take weight off him so he can move a little faster? Is that would help him? That it wouldn't help. That it's not slow. His turret's not slowing him down. Okay. Uh, oh, I'll be there. Go. I'm going to move up like... Does Dash have to be the full 35 nope. feet? Okay, just move me like... Uh, well, I think his movement speed is 30. Mm-hmm. Just move me 30 feet up. All right. All right, everybody make a deck save. Arlo's a fail. 16 for Grayson. That's a save. 15 for Z. That's a fail. Uh, I'm shocked. So Z and Arlo have both failed. Blaylock? Nine. Failure. Galtier? 17. That's a save. So... Everyone except for Grayson and Galtier, you take our. Wait, Grayson, you. You and I saved Grayson. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay. All right. You, uh, you all take six points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Zormir, you're up. Can you zoom out on the map a bit? Uh, yep. Okay. You're currently being held by Grayson. Do you want to do anything? Yes. Uh, can you tell me... Can you give me a 500 foot radius? Uh, yeah. <laughs> From where you are? Didn't you have to be able to see it? Nope. No, you don't. Nope. Um, yeah, you can get outside of the fortress. Okay, I would like to go straight to the front door of the fortress. Okay. Uh, uh, and I, I'm gonna like grab Grayson's arms and uh, make eye contact with him and mouth towards, "Are you ready?" And then point, and then go three, two, one, and then I'm gonna do it. Grayson, are you willing to do whatever he's trying to do? I don't know what he's trying to do. You don't know what he's. So it, you have to be a willing creature. So has to be the same size too so. well he's medium you guys are no, both medium. Not. we've already had talk we've already talked about that yeah we talked about this he's small oh is he small okay yeah we he's never small. tried this S-M-O-F. so i wouldn't know but this yeah, is we know this time. isn't gonna work okay mm-hmm. okay so zormir Foomp. and grayson immediately he's just gone out of your arms you take grayson's clothes <laughs> <laughs> the clothes are always willing. Oh. This is episode 69, folks. 
All right, Grayson, you're up. He he just <laughs> disappeared out of your arms. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dashing. Eighty feet. AFK for a second. If I'm not back for my next turn, I'm dashing. Okay, Arlo is going. Uh, Blaylock. Is um, uh, Gautier still right next to me? Yeah, he's a, he's around the corner. So, but I, but I can't see him or touch him. Not anymore. at the moment. Nope. Him. Okay. All right. I'm just I'm gonna um, I'm gonna dash. Okay, Gautier. You you just see this bowl running next to you just. <laughs> Full bore now. The hell? I thought you couldn't move that fast. I'm gonna. I'm guessing I gotta dash to get up to him. Right, okay, I'm just gonna dash now with him. You're gonna stay with him? Yeah. Okay, you're right there. All right. <laughs> Walls start caving in and falling forward. <laughs> Make a deck saving throw. Arlo does not make it. I'm rolling awful tonight. Uh, is that one going to roll for Grayson because he walked away? Uh, I'll roll for Grayson. Uh, yeah, natural 19. He's all right. Okay. Why couldn't I do that for Arlo? Um, all right. Zormir. Well, nope. You're not. Uh, well, yes, you are. Uh, Zormir... There's still rocks falling where you're at. What's your save? Uh. Oh, that's a natural one. I get to reroll that. Natural one to natural twenty. Okay, you're good. Doesn't really so you, you don't take four damage. <laughs> so he, uh, you Zormi, you're just like looking up at the ceiling, feeling pretty safe, and you're just sidestepping everything. <laughs> just <laughs> woo, woo. Oh, that was close. Do I feel like I should keep running? That's up to you. Um, you're by yourself in a dark tunnel. <laughs> Secret tunnel. I'm going to take out a torch and light it. Okay. Uh, Arlo failed. Playlock. 12. <laughs> Failure. Galtier. 16. That's a save. So Arlo and Blaylock take... That's not good. 19 points of damage. And Zormir, it's your turn. You... Already? Well, oh. yeah. Oh, you're lighting the torch as part of this turn. So, okay. So you're still there. Um, Grayson is dashing. Grayson, make a constitution save. Natural one. Ooh. You have one rank of exhaustion. <clears throat> and Arlo saves. Blaylock. Can't hear you. There. Now we can. You hear me now? Yep. yep. Oh, weird. Um, so it's my turn to run? Is that what yep. you were saying? Or whatever you're okay. doing. Uh, I'm going to run. Th I'm going to go 30, and then I'm going to use uh, Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. Galtier. I'm going to uh, run 35. Uh, I'll do actually, I'll do like 50. Okay. 
Everybody make a deck save. Arlo saved. 17. That saves. 21. 21? Yep. Okay, that saves. 9. That does not. Call tier. Uh, 30, 20. Okay, everyone but Blaylock. Blaylock, you take another 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Zormir, what do you want to do? Um, I... I'm going to take a peek through the door. Do I see Arlo coming? I would say, yeah. It's well lit. You can see him just... (laughs) (laughs) I give him a a big wave, like, let's go! And then I'm going to keep running down the uh, the cave. Okay. How far? Uh, Everything I can. He can't see. He he lit a torch on his last round. He he, he runs into a wall. (laughs) (laughs) He runs into a wall. (laughs) All right. uh, Grayson. Okay. Oh. Um. Lady. Okay. You gonna uh, dash? Yep. All right. Arlo, uh, make a Constitution saving throw. Z18. Okay. You are still trucking along. Damn you, that one. Arlo comes running beside you, and he saves. Blaylock. Uh, nine. You want to move nine? Oh, I thought we were. T- I, I'm trying to. It, it's hard to keep up with what's going on. Okay, I guess I'm. I'm. I'm dashing again. Okay. Oh, you haven't dashed but once, so. I dashed once, so I'm gonna dash again. So I dashed, okay. then ran and healed. You, you and dashed. Yeah, this was only your second dash. You're good. Yep. No, no save to be made. Okay. Galtier. Uh, I'm going to run up past Blaylock, and as I'm running up past him, I'm going to uh, put my hand on him and heal him for 10 temporary hit points. Uh, with what skill? It is the uh, the ring I have. It lets me just, oh, the yeah, heroism? Uh, yeah. 25. Uh, is it a bonus action? It's an action. Oh, okay. wait. That is moving, action, and then uh. I stop. Okay, so you're going to stop there, or you can move up. Yeah, I was going to get him, kill him, and then move the rest of my normal walking speed. I'm going to put you there. Just let me move this body. Okay, there you go. All right, everyone make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, God. Arlo, natural 19. 11. That is a failure. 24. Uh, That's a save. 18. That is a save. I got six. That's a failure. So Zormir and Galtier failed. You take 25 Does points. Does Zormir still have to do that? Yep. It's still collapsing in the cave. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why I'm still running. Dead. What the fuck, man? 25 points of damage. Jeez, that's a lot. All right, Zormir, you're up. Falling lesser where I am. Zormir, you're up. I'm running, 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 running. Okay. Um. The end of Blaylock. Okay, how far do you want to to run? As far as I can. Okay. Can we see? Can we see more of the map? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was a tunnel. You're in a tunnel. You're in a tunnel. There was, <laughs> there was no map for when we were. Yeah, there was. Oh, I forgot. 
I just knew we were in the dark for a long time. Okay, as you get to the end of your movement, Zoramir, <laughs> you see that uh, a crevice has cracked open with all these rumblings, and there looks to be an, an exit. And down the tunnel, with your passive perception... <laughs> hey! You hear that tunnel that you originally came from, you hear the sound of it collapsing forward in the well, distance. That's all you can do right now. It's going to get interesting. Uh, Grayson. Okay, I'm going to run up to the entrance, and then I'm going to wait for Galtier and Blaylock. Okay. I'm trying to make sure everybody else gets out. Go ahead and make a constitution save. Dirty. Okay. Arlo looks at you. Should I wait? <sighs> Go! A little bit of light that you have, Arlo can see. And Blaylock, you're up. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, dash. Okay. Galtier. Where am I? Do you want me to do the con check? Nope. That was just your third time. Okay. I will uh, move up right behind Layla. Match my well just move as far as I can. So I guess I'll do a full dash. Oh, wait a minute. So what am I doing a con save for? Exhaustion. I got a plus nine to my my con. Should I even be exhausted yet? You're not exhausted. You haven't failed yeah, yet. I got, yeah, I got one. I got a rolled natural one. Oh, natural one's always but a fail. Even, but should I, I shouldn't have even rolled yet. I haven't gone nine turns. Isn't that how that works? That's for holding it's your breath. You... Oh, okay. Not for exhaustion. Okay. Uh, I see where you're coming from, though. There's not like specific rule sets for that. Oh no, that's fine. I, like I, yeah. I was mistaken. I thought it was part of the breathing thing. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, everyone, make a deck save. Uh, 23. Save. Grayson. 17. Save. Arlo. Arlo. I'm going to use, I'm going to use Flash of Genius, by the way. Arlo okay. fails. Okay, you use Flash of Genius. What do you have? Uh, that'll be a 14. 14 fails. Uh, Galtier. 22. Okay, so Arlo and Blaylock fail. You guys take one point of bludgeoning damage as little rocks hit you. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Zormir, what do you want to do? How far am I from this opening? It's uh, 10 feet in front of you. Can I see through it? Uh, I mean, it's dark in there. Uh... I'm going to spend my movement hemming and hawing, rocking back and forth on my feet, and then I'm going to dash into it. You're going to run, run up and, and jump in? Yep. Okay, I need you. For now. Geronimo. An athletics check. Wow, it's always athletics and never acrobatics. Because it's jumping. Oddly enough, <laughs> that's an athletics thing. But what you four. through it. A four yeah, total? Or something. Yep. You you run up and you, you jump up and you're like and you're grabbing for it and you can't make purchase on it. 
course. <laughs> Another climbing skill he can't fucking do. Boromir's not athletic. Grayson, you're up. Waiting. I'm holding my turn. Okay, you're holding your turn. You're holding your turn to dash. What are you Only holding? Only if they get up. Only okay. if they get... I'm waiting for them, so if they catch up, I'm gonna... Okay. <laughs> really that slow? Okay, Mr. 150 feet. With a running speed of 25. <laughs> You're lucky you have that fucking cape. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Zoramir, uh, Arlo comes right up beside you. <sighs> what? Why'd you stop? Yeah. And of course, you can't hear that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't hear that. <laughs> no hearing, no speaking. <laughs> Do I even notice he came up to me? Uh, you, you're startled because he just kind of <laughs> appears. <laughs> uh, I pointed the opening. Blaylock. Dashing again. Okay. All right, I need you to make a constitution save. That one. Oh, okay. no. That's another rank of exhaustion. Did you already have a rank? Mm -hmm. Yep. Galtier. I will uh, dash up behind Playlock. You want to dash? Con save, right? Do you want to dash yeah. past him? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, that puts you there. It is a con save. Yep. Dirty 20. Okay, you're good. Mm -hmm. uh, make a dex saving throw. Oh, everybody. Yep, everybody. What's up? Arlo's good. 19. Oh. You're good. 12 is a failure. Lapse of genius again. Okay. Okay. Uh, Twelve. That's failure. Galt 17. here. Okay. So Blaylock, you take three. Uh, Zoramir, you take three points at bludgeoning damage. Grayson, you see them running toward you in the hallway now. Um. Blaylock behind you, you hear the entire place collapsing. It's a very familiar situation to you. Mm, Zormir. This time I didn't cause it. <laughs> <laughs> Zormir, you're up. <clears throat> need to put some uh, haste on the boots for you. I'm going to try and jump up again. Okay. Athletics check. Oh, gosh, sorry. Uh, one. <laughs> you you jump up and you fall down. You're 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 prone, but Arlo sees what you're trying to do. Grayson, what do you want to do? I'm still waiting. Okay, holding that. Arlo looks down at Zoramir. Are you, you trying to? Uh, hobbits or halflings <laughs> and hobbits. he is going to lift you up and he pushes you up to where you can you would be able to get a hold of that uh, ledge hmm. Blaylock if I do another dash is that another con check it is Uh, I'm just going to go my full movement. Which is? 15. Okay. Galtier. Um, I'm going to reach back to try to grab him and pull him with me. Okay, give me so a strength have... check. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 22. Okay. You, you grab, reach back, and at first grab a hold of his nose because it's the first thing you run into 
and you kind of feel around and grab his one horn and you just begin pulling him forward. Um, how far do you want to move? You, you'd move at half movement, dragging him, basically. So I'd move another 15 feet then. Yep. Okay. He, you're yeah. dragging him with you. Do you want to try to... No, that's your action there to... Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Grayson, you see him dragging them. Uh, all of you make a deck saving throw. Sorry, Blaylock. Didn't mean to grab your nose. <clears throat> 16 for Grayson. That's a save. But the dirty... Oh, uh, you. Yep, you're you're good. Uh, Arlo failed. Galtier. Sixteen. That saves. Flash of genius again. Uh, Seventeen. That saves. Yeah. So Arlo nope. takes nine points of damage. All right, Zormir, you're up. Make the athletics with advantage. Oh, God. Oh, oh I got uh, 14. That makes it. So you <laughs> you grab the ledge, pull yourself in, and the cavern that you enter in opens up. Uh, and you kind of hold the, the torch out and and reach down to, to Arlo to help. Uh, Grayson, holding. Uh, let me move. I move twenty in. In towards them. Towards them. Okay. All right. Let's go. And I'm gonna. Hopefully, they can reach me this time. And then if they do, I'll use my action to grab onto Blaylock's arm. Okay. Arlo is going to make an athletics check to get up there. This with advantage. That shouldn't be a problem at all for him. No, he's good. So you pull and Arlo climbs up the side and oops, and into the uh, the hole with you. And just start shouting, come on! And Grayson with your passive perception <laughs> You hear something. <laughs> you can't make out the words, but you hear somebody yelling. Uh, Blaylock. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try dashing again. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen. Five, ten, fifteen. Okay. Con save it. Yep. Okay, that's at disadvantage as well, right? Yep, because it's ability check. Uh, six. Oh, no. It's another rank of exhaustion. Yep. Galtier? Um, if I run up behind him and try to push him further, I can only push him the remainder of my movement speed, right? You can use a shove as an action. <laughs> and shoving... <laughs> uh, if anyone's got the variance up, I think it's ten feet. Yeah, one second. Pulling up now. Yeah, make sure to look to see if I have to make a check to try and see if I stay on my feet. Because if I have to use half my movement to get back up again, <laughs> yeah, I'm I know. doomed. <laughs> uh, shove aside. That's a shove aside. It uses action to shove. Uh, rather than away, the attacker has disadvantage on strength athletics check when it does. If the check is successful, the target moves five feet away. I don't. I'll, I'll allow you to run up to him and use your action to shove him five feet forward. Well, he have to shove him into you'll, you'll have to do, so he, Yeah, you'll have to do a strength check. Okay. So you I'll move. run and be like, Blaylock, I'm going to push you. I, 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 I run into him. I got a six. Okay. Or eight, but. You, ju you just kind of slam into him, and it's like hitting a, a furry <laughs> wall. <laughs> All right. Backfired. Deck saves. Um, Arlo and Zormir do not have to make them. Oh, man. 19. Save. <clears throat> Flash of genius. Oh, good. Uh, 21. Save. 
so the flash of genius, how it looks like, is that you know while I'm running, Galtier. You see, you've almost I've almost got a spring in my step, you know, utilizing <laughs> the uh, mechanical implements in my legs. What was that, Galtier? Nineteen. Okay, you all save. You start dodging out of the way. Um, Zormir, do you want to do anything? I'm gonna turn around and look into the the room and centered. It's a big cavern. I'm going to turn around and show it out into the hall to hurry up. But okay. nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Grayson? Okay. Uh, I'll move up one. Okay. Grab Blaylock. All right. As an action. And start dragging him with me. So 20, uh, 20 feet. Okay. Uh, he's you, not strength, fighting. Strength check, Is though. Is he fighting me? No, but you gotta pull him to. Yeah. You've pulled people before. <laughs> Natural twenty. You're good. All right, twenty feet. Five, ten. Okay. Grab his other arm. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Blaylock, you're up. But, uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna run. Okay. No dashing. This is on dangerous ground here. All right, Galtier. I'm just gonna move out of 35 be up right up there with them. All right. Deck saves. Okay, flash of genius again. That flash of genius is getting a workout tonight. It is the last one. Fifteen. That's a failure. Uh, it's a dirty twenty. Okay. Got yeah, seventeen. All right, uh, Grayson, you take nine points of bludgeoning damage. It's stones from the ceiling crush down, and you can now very well see the ca- the the stronghold caving in toward you. Uh, Zormir, anything? Uh, no. Okay. Arlo is going to um, take out some rope and feed it down and look at you and tie this around. You just see his mouth moving. Must stare blankly back at him. <laughs> but you see him throwing rope at you, so you kind of generally get the idea. Okay. <laughs> Grayson. Okay. I'm gonna pull my lock along. Okay, are you dashing this time? Yeah, we'll go for 40. 5, 10. Okay. It's a con save. It's a 13. Okay. Blaylock. I'm gonna, <clears throat> gonna dash. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's a dex. Sorry, that was a dex. I'm gonna do con. That's gotta be a disadvantage. Fourteen. Uh, that saves. <sighs> <laughs> the pause. <laughs> I will move. Uh, just by. Can you move the map up? Yep, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, thank you. How far was I from that, where they're at now? That's, that's a 35. Okay, I'll just move like that for now. Okay. Deck saves. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Five. That is a failure. Seven. That is a failure. You both take three points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. 
All right. Zormir? Uh, I'm going to brace myself as I uh, prep the rope. Okay. Grayson? Okay. Ken Galtier and I grab Blaylock and run in unison. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that's what we were trying to do. Uh, every I, time we had a reroll the doing strength. different things. <laughs> okay, so you guys want to roll run together. So, Galtier, did you want to use your dash to catch up and get beside him then? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And I'll roll a con. Uh, I've got 10. So I'm pretty sure That's I'm a safe. Now. Oh, sweet. Ten, ten or higher. And then strength check. Nope. You guys have rolled that. You. All right. So Grayson, you moved a little bit. You move five, 10, 15, 20. Okay. That's your 40. So you guys are moving as a unit now. So dex checks. Nineteen. Okay. So am I not making a move action then? Nope. nope. We're all moving We're at once. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking this up again. <laughs> that one. Okay. Ooh. Ah, that's just only some budgeting. Only. <laughs> Blaylock. I have those temp hits. Seventeen. Okay. I mean, you take seven gonna... points of damage, bludgeoning damage. And yep. as a unit, five, ten. If we all dash, we can move forty, right? Yep. So you're right there. One more deck save. I got a dirty 20, thanks to my window seal. Oh, hey, Yosh. Uh, that's a 10. That's failure. Oh, four for me. Okay, that's a save. Uh, Blaylock, you take six points of damage. Oh, wait a minute. Was this another thing of damage? This one, yeah, this was... this was a con. Okay, nope. Uh, yeah, my last one was a thing. I got a natural one, so... Okay, six points of damage. Wait, did your natural <clears throat> one carry for two, then? Because we were rolling dexterity again. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. No, then this one, uh, if I use this roll, 20, dirty. Okay, you're good. So you get up, you see the torch from Zoromir, and you see a rope hanging down. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, we'll go, Grayson, you first. I will push Blaylock up to the rope. Okay. Blaylock, give me an athletics check with advantage. <laughs> uh, okay. And I mean with advantage, discounting the, the not canceling it out. Good. Uh, that's a uh, 10. With advantage? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Blaylock is struggling. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Blaylock, down and try to like die down here. <laughs> get your ass up the rope. Arlo reaches down and grabs Blaylock, and just drags him up with his lizard strength. <laughs> yeah, uh, and Blay Blaylock just collapses on the floor in front of Zoramir. Uh, Galtier, go. Uh, okay, I'll. Try climb, athletics check. Uh, 21. Okay. Galtier nimbly grabs a hold of the rope, pulls himself up, and jumps forward. Grayson, I'll reach my hand out for Grayson. Grayson, you helped it out. You got one more round. I need a dex check. Sixteen. Okay. That saves. Um, you, Grayson, you turn and you look behind you. And you look in front of you, and you see that entire cavern caving in. You have seconds left. Is he going to get advantage from me? He does get him? advantage. You, you get athletics. There's a rope there. There's people there. Hands are out. <laughs> <laughs> get off here, Grayson. Uh, 
15. You grab onto the Torin, uh, the Torin, the Minotaur. <laughs> so <laughs> you grab a hold of the rope, you pull a few, and you just feel hands all over you as they're dragging you up, and your feet begin to get hit by rocks as the cavern behind you uh, caves in, and you just, the uh, a big plume of dust fires through the cavern that you're in. <laughs> And for a moment, you can't see anything. As the dust settles, you all are covered in dust. The The torch is almost out because the dust was so thick. But it it comes back to life, and you're standing within a large cavern. I just fell on my back. Worst day ever. <laughs> uh-huh. That's not your catchphrase. I thought it was worst uh, thief ever. Well, that too. <laughs> the explosions probably didn't help. No, but at least their stronghold's destroyed. I was looking forward to making it my vacation home. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the fire elemental. Probably not happy. Most likely not. Lormir is going to just get up real close to them, noticing that they seem to be talking to each other, and just looks really intensely back and forth, trying to figure out what they're saying. My mouth. Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) I thwap him on the head. With the wand? (laughs) Yes, I have the wand now. Thank you. Screw that noise. All right. What do you all want to do? Sleep. (laughs) Uh Yeah. I think this would be a really good spot for a rest if it's safe. Uh, You had to go and say that, girls here. Sorry, man. I get up and I start looking around. I put my goggles on. It's he has like, yeah, he has dark vision goggles. What? Hey man, paid for them. He paid for them. (laughs) Yeah. Um, you look around and the tunnel is round, uh, probably ten, fifteen foot around. Uh, quite large. You're, you're, the sounds echo in the chamber uh, and just heads off to a direction you're not quite sure. Well, we can either continue walking down this corridor since it's the only way we have or we can stay here and rest. Well, if we rest here, Good news. Nothing come from that way. It's true. And I wouldn't. I think most of us could use some rest. Oh, I damn well guarantee. Hey, Chris, has it been? Has it uh been dawn or night since we've been in this? You would have no idea. You're underground. Well, I ask because oh, I ring. I get to, at dawn, I get to roll to get charges back. You have done a long rest, so a, a dawn would have came, yes. Okay. Okay. That was before the last couple rounds of combat. Okay. I don't know if I used I think I used it once, so I should have one charge back. Okay. What do you, we can... Sorry. Take our time and walk. I think a at least a short rest would be very beneficial than slow walking. Um, I don't know. Blaylock and Arlo look pretty tired. And so I'm, do you, actually. I'm not doing real well.
Well, Grayson, you think it's going to hurt to do a long rest? Something made this tunnel. Just like something made the other tunnel. But we didn't find anything down here that... Goblin set off a trap. Yes, Blaylock, we... I think we have that now. <laughs> Pick the boss I figure we could... If you want to do a short rest and patch yourselves up, we can do that, but... At this point, I think we all need long rests. The rumor is in the corner just trying to scream. <laughs> think nothing Grayson's comes out. Enjoying the silence. <clears throat> I feel like it's attention is over here. It's pretty oddly quiet. I feel like there's someone normally being super loud right now. So what are we, are we resting? Or are we? Yeah. Are we sure? Long rest or short rest, guys? For those who, uh, who can talk. I'm going to go over to Blaylock and grab him by both shoulders and look him at the eyes and point it at my mouth as I, try to, <laughs> as I try to make noise. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Arlo believes that you should take a long rest. I agree. I think... I think we'll be safe here. I'll take the first watch. Watch. I'll okay. take Sorry. second. Do I get from the context clues that we're getting ready to rest? I would imagine your uh, Arlo begins building a fire of some sort. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll start bedding down. I'll take a short rest and then second watch. I think. Uh, I think Blaylock should do nothing but a long rest. You can you still take a long rest even if you take a watch. Oh, okay. Let me do. Can I, uh, am I also able to like look in my book and read through it during this or? Uh, depends on how long you guys want to stay there. Okay. I'm, I right. I know right now I'm more than okay. I'm just like the standard eight hour rest and taking a full one. Okay. 
Do you guys want to take a longer than normal rest? I think we probably should. <coughs> okay. Kind of beat up. Okay. All right, then, yeah, you can read your book. Okay, I'll read the uh, book for the remaining four hours or however long we do it, unless I need to do watch. Okay, the rest of the four hours. All right. Uh, roll a d6. You're back. Uh, two. Two. Okay. Reading in the book, um, you learn about the right of the frozen. Uh, if you use this right, uh, your attacks freeze the target unless they're immune to cold damage and their movement is slowed by half and they cannot regain hit points until the start of their next turn. And I'll send that to you in chat. Okay. And take care of Arlo here. Arlo's going to hone his blade and that's a success. And anyone else doing their stuff? Uh, I'll do it. I'll try it. Might as well. Fuck it. Nope. Chunk it football! <laughs> uh, 20. 30. Okay. And that was the additional sharpening, I think? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bouncing back and forth here. Arlo, as he sharpens his blade, looks at all of you and... So, where do we go from here? My guess? That way. Right. I just kind of point. <laughs> I, I understand that way. <laughs> but where we pop out, do we have a direction... We don't know where we're going to pop out. At this Fair. point, getting out of these tunnels is the only objective we have. I guess as good as ours, where we're going to go. Well, and it's been a couple hours. Zormir, you can now um, hear uh, and speak. I'm going to uh, try screaming again like I was when I was silenced to see and if it works. It just echoes through the tunnel. What are you? Jesus, Zormir! Wow. Shut up! Stop! I hear you now. My head hurts. <laughs> I kind of startled myself. Oh, yeah. guys, uh, I can talk again. I can. Oh, great! I can hear again. Great, Grace, Grayson, I can talk again. <laughs> and now you can shut up. What, what happened? Are you that you Zemir, I talk. I, I, I don't. Wait, would I have any? Would I have been able to put two and two together that it was the one? No, no. It, weird stuff had been happening in that room. Okay. Uh, uh, something about that room. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it was really close to when things started collapsing. I don't know. Maybe it was something to do with that. No. You talk again. You were playing with things you shouldn't have been playing with. What do you mean? 
can just ignore him now. How are so, we going? Zormir, is this a good time to talk about stealing souls and spitting acid? What the hells? Hmm? Now I... you steal souls? Did you not hear us when we were talking about it earlier? Oh, I guess that must have been when I was deaf and I told everybody I couldn't hear. Oh, guess. Well, you should have listened. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go up and kick him in the fucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> hear those. Make an attack roll. Can I, ca- uh, can I cast shield on him or is that on self? That's on self. Ooh. I'm definitely 19, gonna be... which is a crit. I'm going to see him coming. I'm going to dodge. He just crit his balls. All right. I just <laughs> had to say that. Well, your your AC is your dodge ability. He's not casting something on you. And oh, it, it def, definitely hits. Unarmed damage. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is... Laylock, I don't think you should heal this one. Can't Just let it sit. <clears throat> Ten damage. And Zormir, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. For what? I'll let you know after your save. Uh, twenty-two. Okay. For what? See how far uh, your balls went up, nope. <laughs> but you definitely, <laughs> yeah, he did crit his balls. <laughs> Are they the... That was a crit, so that's an or extra in... attack. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna aim for the other one now. The other one. What the hell was that for? And I, I lunge for my uh, venom strike and pull the dagger out. Start going after him. Wait, wait, you just took a critical hit to balls and you're attacking now and not in pain. Mm. Halfling. I'm a halfling. They're little itty bitty balls. <laughs> we doing this? I'm gonna push them both away and be like, stop, enough. Ar- Arlo's gonna assist. He- Guys, okay. this isn't the time. This is a distraction so that Zoramir cannot Heart- tell us what's going on. I'm not the one that created the distraction. This guy over... Oh, oh, this guy over here just came over and kicked me. Because you're a moron. It's not a reason to kick me. Yes. Blaylock? A little help? You've been asking for that for a while. You have already punched me multiple times. I'm not going to take this. Looks like you did. You would have this dagger buried in you if it wasn't for these two stopping me. Mm -hmm. I'm real scared. It's not the place to fight you two. Just wait till I'm taking a watch next time and you're sound asleep in your bed. We'll see. But I don't think he uh, is ever sound asleep there, Zoramir. Well, I move quieter than sound can be, so... Keep threatening me. Let's see. Why don't I just kick your ass now? I've had quite enough of the uh, shenanigans and bullshit that you pull. What shenanigans? The fact that you don't realize it proves you're a moron. What shenanigans did I just pull that warrant you to kick me? Can we pick this back up or not in a tunnel? Because I prefer... Well, Tier, I have been dealing with this for a while now. And I can get how frustrating he is. Jason is just grumpy and likes to pick a fight whenever he can find it. How about we think of people other than ourselves, Zormir? Why didn't you teleport me with it? Teleport with me back in the t- tunnel there. I was trying to help you. 
Uh, no, I picked you up to help you, and you disappeared. Did you not see me looking at you? I was trying to get you to come with me. Obviously, you did it wrong. I don't see how I could do it wrong. There's only one way I can do it. I didn't go with you. I don't know what to tell you then. I tried. Anything else you're hiding from us? I mean, apparently the whole soul thing is new. I, th I thought I thought I had told you guys. I I had that back in back when Nemoria was around with us. You don't tell us anything. You guys don't ask. I just get berated by Grayson. Well, you never answer him. Do we him. have to ask? It you spit acid. We had to ask you how you spit acid. You don't think that's something you should probably tell the people that you work with? It didn't come up. It looked it's like it came up all over the orcs. Yes, it did. Grayson, Blaylock has little talking man at the end of his staff. Why is that? Why is that not scary? Why would that be scary? He is a sentient being in a stick. You don't even knows know what, what that could sentient do. means. <laughs> and Blaylock isn't hiding it. I wasn't hiding the acid. I spit it out right in front of all of you. You've done that numerous times before we really learned about it. You could have asked now about it. Now we know that you can suck souls out of people. Ah, uh, suck souls. Again, anything else souls. you'd like to share with the class? He sits there and genuinely ponders for a second. No, I think, I think that's it. Do you think or yeah, no, I don't think he's going to accept. Oh, it'll thing. be until we see something else and then it'll just be another fucking excuse. What do you have to hide from us? You're always secretive. You're always covering yourself up. First it was the scales. Then it was the, the acid. Now it's souls. Oh, that's all happening. I, I, I'm not making it happen or. Have the scales gotten any worse? Just, Should we know? You know, you, the, when we found out about the scales, you did tell us that if anything changed, you'd let us know. Obviously, with the soul sucking, you lied. I could, I, I could do the soul sucking for a while. I, Which proves that you lied. I didn't lie. I didn't say I couldn't do it. I just didn't say I could do it. Lying by omission is still lying. It's fact withholding. Not lying. Lying is being deceitful. Not telling us that you can do these things, and that's deceitful. Did I ever we, hurt you by not telling you? You I might. If something bad is going on, we are your friends, Zoromir. Of all people, you should feel comfortable telling us what's going on with you. We're not here to hurt you. We were I there don't for you. For... Well, I don't... fair I don't... enough. The only, the only person I really know here is Blaylock. You all... Really? Just kind of... It sounds like you've been... Away. You've been with this, these people for quite some time. Even the short time I've been with you, it's... We've been through a lot. We fought a dragon together. Doesn't that mean something? It means something, but that means I need to reveal all my deep, darkest secrets to you? Are they deep, dark secrets? Obviously They're they personal. are. Personal. I don't... If Pers I don't... If I don't really know what to do with the information myself about what's happening, how can I, how 
can I know to trust you with the information? Maybe if we haven't proven how much we can help by now, what is it we could do to prove it? Maybe we know something. We've all been from different parts of life. We've all stuck our ne- necks out for each other. I guess, I guess there is one other small change that happened that I forgot to tell you. Now we're getting somewhere. You have three balls? <laughs> I think I have five now. I reach up. Don't and- act like you didn't deserve it. I give him just daggers of eyes and I reach up and pull my hood down and just kind of hang my head down. By the gods. Well, um, I don't know whether to call you son or... He's looking more like a dragon than you are. I'm pretty sure this is not how dragonborns are made. At least you what, wonder why by I what don't my wanna... mother said. And you wonder why I don't want to tell you guys these things. It's, um, when did this happen? Uh, a few days ago. A few days ago? So as we entered yes. into the caves? Oh, maybe maybe back uh, in Breckensford. Bre- Bre- <laughs> That's more than a few days. That was a while ago. It was like a few days. Okay. Do you know why? Uh, Are you sick? We can get you help. I feel, I feel fantastic. I feel better, actually. At whatever this tooth was that that's in me, it got stronger. The tooth that you said that the church kicked you out for. What tooth? What tooth? And I not tell you, uh, I, I don't know if I should say more. I, think I tell the story. Okay. I've heard. <laughs> uh, so, and and wait a minute. The the tooth went where? Yeah, you, you heard him cracked it. It burrowed into my hand and arm. Arlo walks over and grabs your hand and like lifts it up. He's looking for it. I, I pull back and resist a bit. I don't see it. Just take it out. I don't know what's going to practically do me in if I do that, right? No. <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think it would like that. It? I don't know how we don't be. think it would like that. What is it? What did that witch give you? It, it's, uh, it's a dragon. It's a dragon's tooth? Arlo removes his sword from this scabbard. Should, should I be concerned? No, no, no. It's, it's friendly. We're, it, we're very. It's very friendly to me. Whenever we, whenever we talk, it. I don't think it means any bad. It's. It talks to you. Only rarely. And what does it say? Oh, how it it, it longs for the mountains that it used to fly in and how, how it likes it, it it can almost live a second life through me uh, it it misses its family that's for sure and it's from a long time ago it's from a long time ago I don't is, know. This, is this what you were talking to when you were in my room that one night it might have been I think that's actually when he reaches up and feels his head I think that's when this happened that was a long time ago. Weeks. Uh, that was right when we got the one sword piece. After seeing the king's uh, grandfather's ghost. Uncle's ghost. Sorry. If it tells you about his past, then who is it? What is it? What is the name? 
it hasn't given me a name yet. I don't I don't know. I've I've tried asking it, but it seems I don't know. Like it doesn't want to reveal that. What does it know of us? Because if you can talk to it, it's probably always listening. And lives through you. And Arlo and looks knows. Arlo looks at you. Do you want me to cut it out? No, no, no. And he, no. he just kind of holds the blade toward you a bit. I, I can cut it out for you. I pull back and protect my arm. No, it, maybe, maybe if things go bad, but it's only done good for me so far. Um, Those... All of you make a perception check. I am not paying attention to this conversation. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. What are they perceiving? Twenty-two. Uh, Grace wait, am I ma- am I making a perception as well? Yep. So it's Culture not about sixteen. Me. Nineteen. Okay. You all notice minus Blaylock because <laughs> he's almost dead, dead in the corner. Um. When when Arlo's blade got close to near touching Zormir, it let off a faint yellow light. It just almost What's crackled that da- almost crackled down the blade. Oh, I don't like this. Where is this going? <laughs> Arlo, uh, what's your sword doing? I haven't seen it do that before. Well, I don't like that. What could and that he, mean? And he takes it and he pushes it near Zoramir again and again you see Can I hold the sword? No. <laughs> Why not? I want to see what happens if I hold it. How about you let him hold. put the sword on your arm? Only if you do it gently. This is first time. Okay. <laughs> he he on takes the it. arm, not not in the arm, right? With a, on. With, a, with a quick snap, it looks like he's going to chop your hand. He, he just takes it straight toward you and then turns the blade and, and sets it down. And for a brief moment, you feel searing pain as you take 10 points of radiant damage. Oh, for the love. Ow! Ow! What was that? As I whip my arm back. That burn. I don't think holding it would be wise. No, no, I don't want to do that anymore. No. No, maybe you should. No. Mm -hmm. Maybe. No. You have no idea what that means, Arlo. I don't. Sword has been in my family for generations. It's obvious I haven't fully thought on what it is or where it came from. That's uh, very interesting. I don't know what to do with this information. I'm going to do an insight check on Zoramir. Okay. Uh, for what? I'm saying know. he knows nothing else. Okay. Uh, insight versus deception. Eighteen. That's what I rolled. Roll again. Would I be able to roll like twenty-three? Ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you don't seem to detect anything. It looks like he's telling the truth. Finally. Zormir. At least let us know if this gets any worse. Okay, I will. And if 
whatever is speaking to you mentions doing something unnatural. Oh, you'll be the first I tell. <laughs> I hope so, because if I catch you in a lie again, it won't end well. Why are you so intent on hurting me, Grayson? Because I don't trust you. What is... You take. You steal. You lie. I take not from you. I take from those that will benefit us. Our team. Our group. Now, Grayson, I think tonight was steps forward in the right direction. Maybe we can forgive the past and move forward from here. It could take more than what has happened tonight. But it's a step. And he sheaths his sword. Just remember, I always have my eye on you. Eye on you. Don't you worry. Yes, that makes you sound so trustable. I'll be fair, you said it too. If I have a reason to. Not saying I have reason to. You keep threatening to kill me. And Arlo looks at you, Zormir. Hakasha Mashkisha. And that's what he said to you. Interconic. You ready, Blaylock? We need to be moving. I will manage. <clears throat> so, Slowly. Uh, I will also speak in Draconic back to him. Um, can I say that out loud? What I want to say to him, or should I keep that private? Whatever you want to say, however you want to do it. Uh, I speak back in Draconic to him. We fight together. Okay. So you head down the tunnels, begin traveling, travel further and further. And I need... Who's leading? I will. Okay. Make a survival check. Nineteen. Okay. As you're going down these tunnels, there's multiple ones that jut off to the side each time you come to one of those you kind of look down on the ground looking for markings of any sort and choose the direction you feel best to head and you travel longer and longer the tunnels seem to swirl in and out of the ground and they seem to maintain the, the same size um I need all of you to make a perception check. Nineteen. Okay. Twelve. Okay. Seventeen. Okay. Seven. All right. And Arlo, I guess I should roll for him. Yeah, he he didn't notice anything. <laughs> Um, Galtir and Zormir, you feel faint rumblings in the ground as you walk. You guys you feel that? Yeah, it feels like the tunnel's rumbling a bit. <laughs> Bless you. I don't feel anything. It's very More faint. Attention. Right now. There's something around. And you are walking slowly, slower because Blaylock is slow. Yeah. 
crazy. Do you have do you have those night vision goggles you can look around in? I already I have one. Okay, wasn't sure. Yeah. I want to figure you did, but I think everyone needs to keep an eye out or ear out. Travel deeper and deeper. Time passes, though it's hard to tell without the light of day. But you know you've been traveling for several hours. Do you want to keep going? Yep. Okay. Are you feeling Blaylock? <clears throat> Terrible. Mm-hmm. Need to rest? I don't want to hold us back. But I fear... I cannot move on much more. Holding us back is not the issue. Mm. You being too exhausted is a bigger issue. We have no we have no idea how much longer we'll be down in these tunnels. Could be days. Mm. Then I suggest that we rest. Grayson, is there a good spot you think would be easily easy for us to long rest again at? We're in a long tunnel. There is no easy. Well, are we in a spot where there are a bunch of branching off tunnels, or are we just in like a? Right now, you're in one of the bigger tunnel tunnels. There aren't any branching. Okay. Ones. Okay. Does the does the cavern look natural, or is it something that's been artificially carved out? Uh, you can give an investigation. Um, yeah. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. 17. Um, it doesn't look natural. In the sense of a, a cavern that's just underground. Yeah. So not through erosion or any kind of earthquake or anything. It's just there's actual markings that look like that this was made by some kind of humanoid. Or like the tunnel we walked through. By something that is not natural. Got it. Yeah. I wonder if I could suss out something out of the DM. He's smarter. (laughs) He's a a smart DM. All right. How much further? The caverns are not natural. I thought we were going to stop here to do a rest. Should we stop? Mm. Well, there's no branching off tunnels, so there's only two directions to come at us from. Mm. So it would be better to rest here, in my opinion, than resting when we're surrounded by extra tunnels. True. I'm fine if Blaylock needs it. I am afraid that I do. I have pushed myself almost to the point of being worse off than I was before. I fear I need to rest. Bit of a rest, too. All right. I can take first watch. I'll take a uh, first watch too, but look at the other. Like, if Arlo's looking at where we're heading to, I want to we'll keep back from behind us. Well, I mean, you're, you're in a tunnel. Like, it's it's not yeah. hard to to look okay. both ways. <laughs> you can butt <laughs> up against the wall. Look both both ways for your cross. Yep. So, who wants to take second watch? I'll take second watch then. Okay. Second here. Yeah, we're only doing uh, eight hours. I'm actually gonna like you know sleep the first four. Okay.
All right. Arlo, perception. Okay. Who's taking second? Go to here. Okay. So, what's your perception? Ah, six. Okay. You look around, but you kind of kind of doze off. Luckily, nothing attacks you. Anyone want to do anything before morning? All right. Well, shall we continue down the path now that everyone's rested again? How are you feeling over there, Blaylock? Hmm. A fair bit better. I may be able to keep pace with everyone now, but still, still, I cannot push myself too much. Mm -hmm. I think Grayson should keep the lead with the uh, goggles. Yep. I have not been sitting idle in these past two days. <clears throat> if you hear anything of a, that may be threatening, I can cast invisibility on us all. So please bear that in mind. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you look down and Zoramir looks like he had a rough night. A little more than usual. Oh. Oh, you messaged me. Dang it. Oh. Always have signal ready. See Your balls rupture. up. Your balls <laughs> ruptured. <laughs> Internal bleeding. <laughs> oh god. Okay, uh, Grayson, give me a survival check. Twenty-seven. All right. All right. You know, it sucks is I have advantage on survival, but I still couldn't get what he just got with a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> so. Plus eight for survival, man. I got plus five. <laughs> you travel, and before a, a couple hours go by, and you uh, you start seeing some light in the distance. What do you want to do? Do we all see light? Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're coming up on, coming up on an exit, but I think we should exit cautiously. Mm. And mm -hmm. on that, I'm going to lay my hand starting um, from, because I'm kind of taken up behind uh, the rear and I'm just going to start walking my way up and resting my hand on them. And casting invisibility on everybody. Okay. That lasts for how long? One hour. Okay. I'm assuming that the the light in front of us can be reached within an hour. Sure. Okay. Is there anything that breaks the invisibility? Like if we do an action? Do, if you do an action, yep. Yeah. Yep. An aggressive action, not like sneaking and that kind of stuff. All right. You travel further into the light. It's almost blinding. You've been underground for so long in the in the darkness to torchlight. And you have gone through a couple torches, whoever was torching it up. Mm. <laughs> and you... You crawl out over top of rocks, and you look around, and you're... 
at the edge of a beautiful forest. Trees starting to thin out, the birds chirping. Sunny, pleasant day. Looking around, off in the far distance over the plains, you can see a few things. And if you look in your message, the star is where you're at. Stay away from the light. It burns. Bright light, bright light. Well, does anybody to not meta the game? Does anybody know where we're at or have an idea? Can we see uh, Castle for Mini off in the distance? It can. It is um, as big of a city as it is. It's the it's far, but it's it is there to the northwest, um, and you can just see the hint of. Uh, Cyrus Point to the north. Well, I know what that is. If that's so Castle be Vimina. north of Cape's Vessel. Do we want to travel north towards that town? I pull out the map. Or we really want you to go to Ciderport. I think we needed to go there, didn't we? For oh. something with the museum? Yes, we we want to go to Cider Point. Not for the alcohol, Zoramir. Or the ladies. Oh. Uh, may I remind everybody that <clears throat> Cape's vessel was destroyed. The magistrate was eaten. And we have lost the shard. You mean this shard? What? We got the shard. What? Oh, didn't notice. We have the shard? Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess it's not a total loss. Devastating as it was. Hmm. To think that they was destroyed just because the orcs didn't want to live around other creatures. So many lives lost. The OVK has a lot to answer for. OVK? Hmm. Why is that familiar? That's the cult of knights. Ah, forgive me. To bring back the dragon? Yes, forgive me. I am. You sure you're feeling better, Laylock? No. No, I am not. If you feel it best to go to Cider's Point, then so be it. Well, we don't have much of a method of transportation other than walking right now. Can we not, uh, DM? Can we not somehow signal? Oh wait, our our little magic steeds of magicness we never bonded with, except for Zoramir. Can we even? <laughs> could we even do anything with that? Could we like call them, like you know, maybe whistle for him, and they're like, "Hey, I'm right here." Can you? Oh. Yeah, I thought Samurai's horses were too far away. They are mentally linked to us. We just haven't. Bonded we haven't bonded with them yet. I'm I'm gonna think about my horse or my my towel the shar thing. Oh, the hen. <sighs> hen. Just butcher it. Just butcher it. <laughs> my magic steed of magicness. I'm gonna think about him. I'll also ponder my noble steed that I have partnered with in life. <laughs> that one wow. accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll just, I'm just gonna think to him. I was like, are you there? I'm just gonna look at like, why did everyone get quiet? <laughs> everyone got quiet, and they all have like this serious look on their face. <laughs> their their uh, their brows are furled. 
Um, Pardon me, I just pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, looked, I looked a little more than like more than pissing yourself. It's that warm feeling you get. Okay. But there was the blood dripping down my balls. <laughs> Obviously, you know where you left them, a uh, general area. You know where you are now. You would realize that it's going to take some time if they're coming to you. <laughs> they don't. Oh, they can't just teleport. They, they don't teleport. <laughs> oh, shucks. Mm-hmm. I don't just like store them in my back pocket and then whistle for them randomly and they just. No, appear. no. This isn't an MMO where you pull a horse out of your butt. <laughs> Well, at any rate, we... <laughs> Wilbur, it's been so long. Did you find that gerbil? <laughs> Ouch. Oh. 69. Lemmy, Lemmy Winks. Yeah, yeah. Right into the toilet. All right, what do you want to do? Well, do we notice anything when we try to make a connection? I mean, it feels very positive. Like, it, you feel reassured that you've summoned the creatures. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Now they're done frowning their brows and nothing's happened. I'm like, what did you guys just do? If it worked, we may have a mode of transportation for us. I wonder if you could join us on... Mm, maybe. Maybe. Nemoria's ran back into the forest, right? Uh, yes. As far as you could tell. So, Grayson, based on your map, where are we closer to? Cider Point or Castle Firminia? We're probably closer to Cider Point. I just don't see the need to go. It seems like it'd be a great place to question the town folk and learn a little bit more about the island, no? Of all the places that we have had hints as to where to go to complete the shard, Cider Point was not one of them. It is close to Arnathian, though, isn't it? It might be a stopping point if you're heading that way. Didn't didn't one of you say you needed to there was something there. One of the museums that had some of the items that were replaced was supposed to have been sent there. Either way, I'm along for whichever direction we go. I think, I think Kraft was working with Arnathians, no? I believe Blaylock was the expert on craft and his things, even here. But we do know that there is another piece of the shard with your friend Scar. We need to collect. Oh, we have to see him again. But what we just saw in Cape's Baffle, we may want to try to find it. Ah, I suppose. Save the drinking for when we have the sword and the dragon's not back. At least that way we can get the shard and we can still stop by Ports Portstown and see everything if everything is okay there. And we have access to ships. As I said before, the king of Castle <clears throat> Castle Verminia is not going to be pleasant to deal with. Well, how are we going to get to Portstown? We walk. We walk? It's on the other side of the island. I think it would... If we could go to Snyder's Point, we could at least get a ship there. I would be more comfortable going to Portstown than to Castle Verminia. 
Portstown is known. Castle Verminia is not. Oh, I I know about Castle Verminia. Hmm. That is why I am so hesitant to go right away. Now that you mention it, Soramir, didn't Hamish say something about craft and the Arnathians and Rash? They have been several steps ahead of us this entire time. Good. Could Kraft be responsible for those machines the orcs had? Possibly. Could be. be. They were a different design than anything I've ever seen. Hmm. I've dealt with constructs before. Hmm. Would that be more of a threat than anything else right now? The lists of towns that had items shipped to them from the museum or Portstown, Cape Vassal, the Plateau, and Castle Verminia. Uh, uh, Hamish, Hamish mentioned, if I remember, Hamish mentioned Cider Point. Oh, oh, thanks, oh. Zormir. What did he say? Maybe oh. you could ask a friend that fills your head with voices. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't listen to those. I don't think he... The only thing I've this. heard about Cider Point is from the captain. Mm. I am fairly certain if I recall your your listening in on Hamish and Lystra. Forgive me, my mind is not quite right. But was it not Portstown and Cider Point that can ha- that are under siege? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, they they were collecting something from Cape's Vassal, but that wasn't enough. They wanted they wanted something from Portstown and Cider Point too. Mm. I'm always oh, listening, Solar Mayor. God. I'm about what? to crap myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I bring out the EMF detector. <laughs> <laughs> wrong game, wrong game. Uh, right, the right. Boys lost fingers. <laughs> I would can, can, so... can, can you write in this book, please? <laughs> Did if they actually after... hear that? Yeah. If they are after something in Cider Point and Portstown, like they were in Cape's Vassal, and we found Cape's Vassal in the state we did, how do we know they're not trying to get souls like they did? If if we're aware that Cider Point may fall under the same fate as Cape's Vassal, then we need to go to Cider's Point. Wait, wait, he's listening. He's here. Uh, 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 did, what did, what did Hamish say again about Cider Point? Should we go there? You hear nothing. Wait, why'd you go away? You were just there. Arlo looks at you. Are you okay? I mean, I agree with going to Cider's Point, but... I'm very curious about who you are talking to, Zoramir. (laughs) <laughs> I, I look at everybody kind of in shock realizing oh I just did that <laughs> out loud oh shit <laughs> uh the I had a voice in my head he said he was listening but what? now he's not responding what a voice in your head don't give me that judgmental look Blaylock you have voices in your head too I am listening <laughs> Oh, he's there again. Can you help us? 
Can you help guide us where to go? I can help guide your blade into that harker. Into the what? No, that's that that won't be necessary. We just need to we need to know what town to go to. The fact that he just responds and that isn't necessary makes me think we shouldn't go where the dragon wants us to go. You don't know anything. You know nothing. Oh, he's not talking out loud still. No. Oh, see, I thought he was. Well, Zormir like, is. Sorry, but... Yeah, Zormir's responding. And he said, that's not necessary. He's tell us where to go. Well, we need to make a decision. We can't just stand here all day between two towns and get nothing done. Sure, these woods are lovely. <laughs> it is a sure, nice look, change from where look. we've been. <laughs> Maybe we could build a house and set up and live here and Is wait. Is that a triceratops over there? Wait for the destruction <laughs> of the world? <laughs> we should have a log cabin built by the time that's done, ready, right? any luck, our souls will be sucked into some orb somewhere for the entertainment of some creature. Oh. Hey. It's not just for entertainment. We could... We, we still haven't asked Rash a question. We could... bring him out. Ask your undead orc. What's going on inside a point? Look at everybody. Do we agree that's a good one and only question to ask him? Unless you have a better option now. Play luck. I am hesitant with speaking with the dead, but this is our only course of action. So be it. Okay. I am going to slowly take out the trinket that contains Rash. Okay. And summon him. Okay. You crush the gem in your hand and the um, a spirit of something kind of hovers there that you can see. No one else sees it. What is happening in Cider's Point? There. Cider's Point people will find their end. When? Soon? And the ghost. Poof. You only get one question. My, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Figured I'd try. <laughs> My eyes go wide. That's not good. That's not Being good at you, all. Zormir. He said Cider's Point will find their end. People of Cider's Point. We need to go there. We need to help them. They, that sounds like they're they might be next. They they don't they can't have long. We don't know anything about Portstown either. But I well, guess we're closer to Cider's Point. So if your mind's made up... They're both towns of way. innocent people. We don't know if our message from the captain reached, at, reached to Cedar Point and helped with anything. We don't. We can only hope that they got there safely and King understands our meaning. Hopefully it prepares. Not fall victim to being surprised like Cape's vessel. Mm -hmm. 
So shall we? We well, seem to have more than a day's here. travel. We should make haste as much as we can. Okay. Oh. You all begin moving forward. Uh, towards okay. the city in the distance. Before the ground begins shaking. And it begins to open up. And the rumbling you heard finally comes to fruition. Oh, jeez. Why is there a death orb? And it rises up from the ground. Are we still invisible? Twisting scales. Yeah, it hasn't been an hour, but... Uh, twisting scales, mouth agape with rows and rows of teeth. Stone and dirt fall from it as you realize the creature is about as round as the tunnels you were passing through. Mm -hmm. Saliva cool. drips from its mouth as it turns towards you with its eyeless head. And... <sighs> <laughs> and that's where we're going to end tonight. We go. Well, it hasn't uh, seen us yet. We <laughs> should go. And that's where we're going to end tonight. Go. Oh. So. And I throw it. All right. So. That's where we'll end for this evening. Thank you to all of you that uh, stopped by. Remember, we are off for the next two weeks. Have a great Memorial Day and and the next the next one, uh, unfortunately. But we'll be back that, that third week. I think it's the 13th or 14th, something like that. 14th. 14th. Okay. So we'll be back the, the 14th with the exciting next conclusion right into this situation. Um if you need to catch up, you can catch us on Anchor or your favorite podcast service, or you'll find us on YouTube, or you can join our Facebook page at 70 Dungeons and uh, see all the exciting information as we try to figure out some additional content and things uh, for your pleasure. Uh, thanks again, and we will see you in a couple weeks. Have a great Memorial Day. Have a good, good one, everyone. Have a good one. Have a good one. A very good, good one. one. Lots, lots, of, lots of rum. Vodka. Lots of rum. Yeah. Vodka. Vodka. Hey, join us Wednesday. Wednesday we're gonna we're gonna stream some uh yeah, phasmophobia. phasmophobia. Yeah, Let's that should it. be that should be uh see how much. 70 Dungeons Gaming. So uh, that's what well, let's let's do that. That should be exciting. And terrifying. Uh, I'll probably that'll, die that, really that'll be early because uh uh earlier. We need to do yeah. that if it's on Wednesday because we have Banter and Babble at 9 and we don't want to cut into that show. Oh, I can easily do it early. Yeah. So, all right. We'll see you later. Peace.